So hello guys, welcome back. We're uh, continuing on with this now. We're becoming a team now. We completed the interlude mission, I guess. In interlude story. We wrecked him, Kai. You saw, right? I took him all down. Oh, I saw. I think it was teamwork that won us this one. Oh, come on! Give the guy some credit here! No, Kai. He's right. We couldn't have won without you, Raz. I didn't realize until I saw you in action. All I had were my armchair theories. You may have been a loose cannon, but that's exactly what we needed. Well, I mean, you... you know, sounds like you're finally paying attention, so... <laughs> and, I mean, your theories and tactical crap worked out pretty okay for us in the end. Oh, thank you. Hey. Look, don't go thinking you're hot shit now, alright? You're still not ready to be commander, got that? Sure, bro. So, when you can't do it alone, just ask me, or Kai, or any of the others, and we can help. We're all badasses here, right? Right. The... the baddest of asses. Everyone. You're not used to it, huh? God, you're still such a nerd. Ah, uh, sorry. You did good, Raz. What? Damn it, Kai! Get your hand off my head! <laughs> <laughs> Would you stop treating me like I'm some kid? I need a smoke. <laughs> he really needs to be a little more honest with himself. Claude, there is something I'd like to give you. What's this? A little record I've been keeping of this squad. From now on, it'll be yours to maintain. It's a diary, more or less, with logistical information. Might come in handy for making quick, precise decisions. A leader's gotta keep a level head, right? Kai... The squad's in your hands now. <laughs> and after that... We all entered the ranger course, and true to his word, none of us failed. No one had seen anything like us. We were soon assigned to the ranger corps. That was where it all started, for Claude and for all of us. Where we became the elite, where we became rangers, that was where we became Squad E. Confident. Okay. That was where our real test started. Survival training was definitely the worst part. I remember Raz yelling, Someone shoot me now, cause I'd rather die than eat a damn frog! Ugh, raw frogs. Just when I thought I'd forgotten the taste. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive. <sighs> In any case, all the training they threw at us, we beat it together. And that's the story of how Squad E came to be. You all went through a lot before I got here, huh? I guess they both changed. And I... Hey, tell me something. How'd you end up in the military anyway? I still can't believe Scaredy Claude is my commanding officer now. And undefeated, too. <laughs> well, I can't blame you. No, seriously. Why are you here, man? It's not because of all that stuff back then, right? When Riley's folks... <laughs> uh, Should have figured. Guess that part of you never really changed, huh? Still kind of pisses me off. Sorry, Raz. <laughs> I don't know why you're apologizing. <laughs> God, you're hopeless. Look at you trying to clam up again. Come on, you even got me on your side. And I definitely wasn't what you'd call cooperative. You're doing fine. We're all a load of losers, misfits, and freaks. And even so, you keep us together. You think so? Ugh, still? What do I gotta say? Come on. Listen, 
You're no scaredy Claude anymore. This stuff with Riley's gonna be fine, okay? Raz. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> bro. <clears throat> you will be my bro of this game. Chapter 3, Rangers in the Storm. So we're finally back into chapter. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. You serious? Norid Sarinen. So, are you much of a nature lover, sir? Hmm. Teddy bear. My name's Eva. Um, I hope we learn a lot from each other. Eva. Interesting pronunciation. Ao Eva. Eva. So there's a silent. I have to keep track of their <laughs> preferences so I know which because like the stories have the squad stories happen when there's when you use them apparently a lot okay, and with the see. team members I guess. The fresh recruits could give Oh wow. Dark Bond love, love Oh Nick, she's with Niche. Nice. Dodd and Scott. Okay. <laughs> He's a bully, bad with women, weak constitution, and a loose cannon. He's like losing so much, but like when he's just like being a bully, it's good for him. This is just random. That's all. Let's see if someone's actually here or not. Oh, Kai, what's up with the bandage? Oh, it's a little souvenir from our last mission. Don't worry, it only grazed me. It's not like you to get hit. You're normally so cautious. It was nothing but a stray bullet. Wasn't even meant for me. Guess it's just bad luck then. Anything can happen on the battlefield. Yep, pretty much. Then again, the fact that I'm the one who got hit is probably good luck. Why is that? It's easy to get first aid to snipers. We stick to the rear. Soldiers on the front lines aren't so fortunate. Mm hmm That's true. If the fighting drags on long enough, even a shallow wound like that could turn fatal. Huh, you're right. Wish there was a better way to get urgent care to the front line. Urgent care? Wait, I think I know an order for that. No! <laughs> I don't have enough for it. I need a thousand five hundred more. Yeah, easier said than done. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. No, please. We'll do the story mission and then we'll get that. Please. I'll come back for that. Late July. The Federation has maintained its momentum. We're pushing ahead into Imperial territory. As our front line expands, we're running low on personnel and supplies. So long as we believe in victory, in our allies, and in ourselves, we can keep fighting. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Or sub episodes. Some episodes are seen in book mode are marked with an asterisk. Sub episodes run parallel to the plot, viewing a sub episode is optimal and not required to advance the game. They do however offer new perspectives on major events unfolding throughout history. That's nice. High fashion, Claude and Riley. Okay. Let's go with the uh, high fashion first. you bums it's laundry day if you got skivvies piling up then hand them over <sighs> oh women put theirs in this bag don't worry i'm taking it straight to karen 
Oh, thank God. I was worried I'd have to give mine up to Raz. Uh, who the hell would want your stinking undies? <sighs> you never know with Raz. He's a real degenerate. Who else would try to sneak into a strip club at 10 years old? Wow, I remember that now. And he busted his adult disguise before he even got in. I can't believe I forgot. Publicly humiliated wearing that stupid wig and high heels. I don't know if they busted him so much as he got too excited and passed out just outside the door. Wow. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> That's even better. Look, you guys can think whatever you want, but I only did that on a dare, okay? Oh, well that changes everything. Clearly you're a badass. Oh, there you are, Riley. Do you have any clothes that need to be washed? I was just about to hand them off to Kai. Uh, oh, that's a relief. Why is that a relief for you? Well, I just... There was a commotion over here, so... Anyway, do you have enough clothes to last you? Yeah, I brought plenty with me, so I should be fine. On that note, I've been meaning to ask about your uniform. Oh, right. That isn't a standard issue Edinburgh uniform. Well, on paper I'm a grenadier, but my main job is more like a scientist. I guess I impressed someone with all the tech I worked on, because they made me an officer. But since I never went through the academy, I don't have much real authority. I'm like... an unofficial lieutenant? I see. They just didn't have an appropriate uniform to give you. Exactly. So I convinced them to let me design my own. Uh... Aren't there some... issues with wearing that in battle? Like what? It's both practical and fashionable. Got bow in style. Even when we were kids, Riley's only ever worn skirts. Not even the army can make her wear pants now. It's a combat skirt. <laughs> if you're jealous, Claude, I'm sure we could find you a nice flirty skirt. Jealous? Uh, no, <laughs> that, that's not... Come on, guys. I guess this is the series now. Thought and Riley. Claude? Claude? That's weird. He should be around here. Is that Riley? Uh, yeah. Where are you? Down here, under the Hoffman. Sorry, I've got my hands full. Mind if I work on this while we talk? Sure, that's fine. I just wanted to ask you something. <clears throat> this thing does not want to move. <clears throat> ask me what? I've been thinking about adjusting my grenades. Come on, damn you. Yeah. <sighs> uh, re really? Even listening? Uh, yep, I'm listening. Something about grenades? I'd like to try modifying them. I think it could give us some more options in combat. That'd be interesting. If they have flash grenades, concussion grenades, or incendiary grenades. So I was wondering if I could use some of the Hoffman spare parts? Oh no, what's gonna happen? What do you think? Well, they seem friendly enough. I mean, on the surface. Wait, what? They can stand there and talk, but there's still a gulf between them. Call it kind of a hunch. Yeah? You think they're that complex? Guess it's just woman's intuition. Except that I'm a man here. Don't forget it. Like there's any chance of that. <clears throat> but seriously, no guy's got an ass this tight. <laughs> 
Come on, what the hell was that for? You, I could ask the same of you. You deserve that. It was just a friendly butt tap between the <laughs> Well, would you looky here? That was a hell of a swing. Trust me, getting to tinker with these things is gonna be incredible. You're totally gonna love. What the? For real? Are those two seriously gonna fight right here? Wait, what? Who's gonna fight? Who the heck do you think? Raz and. <laughs> Raz and. Oh. Uh, ah, the pixelation, though. I, I swear, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean. Rest in peace, Claude. That was still harassment, bro. That is full on harassment, I think. It's not just a but what do you say butt pad man those two really need to lighten up huh mine was just an accident don't act like we're both guilty here hey i'd kill to have an accident like that must have been one hell of a view i got a pretty nice view of the sole of her boot i'm just lucky she didn't have cleats <laughs> we gotta watch our steps around those two they don't take crap from no man What's wrong? Crick in your neck? No, it's the wind. It's the wind. Another one of your wind whispers? A storm's coming. In one hour, with strong winds. We'll need to be careful. So this bright sunny weather's gonna turn to shit, huh? It's almost creepy how far you can guess ahead. It's not a guess. I know it'll happen. It's pretty useful when you're in a war, I guess. Whatever. How'd you even learn to do that anyway? When we were kids, you got rained on all the time, and you always cried about it too. Hmm. Did I? Probably more academy stuff, huh? You take some kind of meteorology course or something? Well, yes, but that's not quite the same. Yeah. This is something different. Ugh, that goddamn face again. Huh? You gotta smile like you're scared of something. It pisses me off. Uh, uh. I thought you were finally starting to grow out of it. Sorry. Claude, scouting duty in one hour. We'll need five soldiers from each squad. And there's a storm coming in. Huh? <laughs> Understood. I'll join the team for Squad E. Raz, you should come too. With a storm coming, I ain't going out in that shit. Raz. It's a joke, alright? I'll get my rain gear. Good idea. I'll do the same. Come on, bro. Join me. Oh. Interesting. Nocturnal Re Reconnaissance, so it's a night mission. This is probably going to be bad. I reviewed the vip footage again. <laughs> it's just a friendly butt bat, bro! I don't think they would think of that as a friendly butt bat. Time for some Nocturnal Reconnaissance. Two groups. Squad E will patrol the forest from the southern entrance to the northern clearing. And Cliff divides the area east and west so you have to split it up into two teams. Obviously the woods aren't fit for attack. Cloud will therefore be joining Raz as an infantry on the western side. But if you need to reach the target point. Alive, I might add. You won't have a camp available on site so pick your cliffside fire team wisely. Okay, so we can't use them. Not a ass, so they can't ever die. Without falling. Okay. So only five members. Let's do this. I was thinking there's gonna be an option to, so you can see there. That concludes the briefing. Now get into position. You can see their potential, like in this mode at least. We'll start patrolling. 
Be careful out there, everyone. How many times did the first game have the tank commander in? Man, you weren't kidding about the storm. How are we supposed to scout when we can't see anything? You have a point. It'll be hard to identify enemies like this. We'll just have to be extra careful. According to the map, there should be a clearing ahead. We'll head there first. The guys on the cliff should have a better vantage. They can scope things out before we forge ahead. Good idea, Raz. Let's make it happen. So they should go first. Got it. A fire support. Okay. So they just have to make it there. And there's arrows pointing on like where we can f help here. We get where we can help the main squad. Easy, easy one, easy two. So four areas. One, two, three, four. I'll use the scouts first of these. Guess I'm up. But this rain is bullshit, man. You can't see a damn thing. It's like our night battles back in training, right? Make up for poor visibility with extreme caution. Nocturnal combat. At night time, visibility is reduced and the distance to spot enemies is shorter, just like in Girls, uh, girls Frontline. Stay vigilant while moving and be ready for unexpected kills. A pretty girl makes everything better. The rain's not helping. Oh, I see a mine. That's a mine right there. That's that's the mine. So just be careful. I keep seeing things in the shadows. That's gonna be really creepy, bro. Hopefully they'll withdraw from this. Okay, thank you. Mines are activated when stepped on. They explode when the unit steps off. And you just, and we don't even have an engine because we can't even deploy anymore now. Engineers can disarm mines by moving close to them and pressing A. There are two types of mines, anti-tank and anti-personal. Anti-tank mines do not activate. That's nice. The answers can still be damaged by a mine's explosion, so watch where you step. And there are... I saw another person there. They're good. Oh, another one. Pretty good. You, can you even aim? Engaging. You suck. There they are. See if we can get as close as possible. Stop complaining. Patrol duty is important. I'm not complaining, bro. If it doesn't kill, I can let the grenadier go in. Let's make a bet. What a terrible storm. Can we take a rain check? Huh? Ow. My chance. Thank you. I hear footsteps. They're closing in. Arrays, right? All allies have been. I'm gonna take this as slow as possible. Onward. Cupid. Oh, you can actually aim. Does this breach? Huh. Nice. Nice shot. There they are! The enemy's returning! You can't run! Okay, nice. All right. Nice shot!
I just want to let me get know what I'm gonna have to deal deal with when I try to get an A rank. There they are. It's over. Bingo. Goodbye, bro. Rest in peace. Forgive me. Target destroyed. Good work. Over here. Wow. I'm up. There they are. Don't let them spot you. This, please, don't duck. There we go. He's dead. Whoa. Guess it ain't my lucky day. It ain't. Forgive me. Forgive me. As long as you don't touch the body. Oh, it's over. Did you just fall Got off it. a ditch? That should make things a little easier. Please hit. Another person behind? Is that a grenadier? Enemy down. No! It's a grenadier. On your head, please. you die please open your eyes fine there's actually a lot of people okay okay Leave it to me. Forgive me. Close. Here comes the pain. If he actually didn't die, then he would have hit everything. I hear footsteps. They're closing in. Hope you don't catch a cold from this. Yeah, this is actually a nice spot. Over here! Thank you. That's bad. Thank you.
You're going all the way around, huh? The scout. I don't even think this is a difficult mission. It's more of the I don't know what's up against me and the mines are really dangerous. Okay. Is that? It looks like a shark trooper. I did it! Our allies have been a scout. Eh. Onward. Keep firing. There's no mines here. So that should be it for this mission. Simple and easy. I can do this. What a terrible storm. Can we take a rain check? It'd be so bad if they actually put just put that mice all the way in the back. here one more area to comb and we're done oh man it's freezing out here isn't this supposed to be summer what gives we're in a forest at night in the rain it happens let's get this over with so we can head back and get some hot coffee yeah and some dry cigs all right I quit wait you quit now that you mention it I haven't seen you smoking in a while I mean, more power to you, but why'd you stop? You never wanted to quit before. Why? Well, you know, just being practical. They're hard to get out here. Really? I figured the base was pretty well stocked. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, forget that. You know what this rain reminds me of? That was a weird change. That one day back in Hafen. You know, our fist fight. How could I forget? It was really coming down then, too. I was just teasing you like usual when out of nowhere you went off on me. I still have no idea why. I knew I had zero chance of winning. But no matter how many times I knocked you on your ass, you just kept getting back up. You were freaking me out. That's the only reason I started, you know, punching you for real. Uh-huh. I'm glad to know that's why I spent two weeks in the hospital. Yeah, I... I'm sorry about that. Should have kept my cool. You were still kids back then. Uncontrollable urges. Nah. It's fine. That's what finally got me to change. Change? Back then, I was dead inside. But you sort of knocked the life back into me. Claude. No, my mo mo the moment's ruined. B. Oh. So four turns is A rank. Okay. That's for the next mission. So then let's check. Wait, I think I... 45. Nice. Now let's see what she says. Bad, Claude. Not bad at all. This will give our troops a lifeline in case of emergencies. The problem is I barely use any orders. So I don't even use any boost that they can give me. Do you have any weapons? Oh. Wow. Wow! Whoa, it's... 
Oh, I messed that up. There. That should be it. You're not done yet. Do you want to win or don't you? I mean, everyone wants to win. It sucks losing. You've leveled up, so to speak. Uh, potential would be nice. They've only had one so far. The only ones with two is the Shark Troopers and Scouts. And I need one more. The Engineers. But I only have two of them. So these two are maybe what I need to focus on right now. Impulse. So I think we're gonna get ambushed from the pictures of it. So, this will be in A rank when we come back, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to make this work.